Hello, everybody. Today we are going to talk about 4.6 zeros of quadratic equation. So we will find zeros of the quadratic equations. Before we start the lesson, can you do the do now? So can you factor these two expressions? I'll give you about four minutes. Okay. Let's go over together. So 3g squared plus 5g minus 2 equal to 0. What should you do first? You put it into the calculator, right? You put the function in the calculator and look at the table. So if you look at the table, your calculator will give you x equal to negative 2 for y 0, right? Be careful, y, it's not x 0. So y equal to zero, now your value x equal to negative two. Then what is the factor from this one? If zero is negative two, factor is, yes, x plus two. Oh, it's not x, it's a z. z plus two. Then to get the other factor, what do you do? You put the parenthesis here, and the z times what is three z square? Yes, three z, right? And then two times negative one give you neg minus two. So this is your factor. You don't need to worry about five Z. If you foil it, you will see that you get the five Z. <clears throat> Second one, same way you put into the function and then you get the zero negative four, then your factor is X plus four, yes. Then your second factor, you bubble here, put the parenthesis here, and then x times what is 2x squared? Yes, 2x. 4 times what is 12? 3 plus 3. So 2x plus 3. So your factor is x plus 4 and 2x plus 3. Everybody understand? OK. So let's start the today's lesson. What is the 0 again? 0 is? where the function equals the value zero. The value means y value. So y value means, y zero means x axis, right? X axis zero. Here in this graph, you see only one zero where x equal to one, right? How about in this quadratic equation, you have two zeros, which is x is negative three and positive four, <clears throat> two zeros. So, but we should be careful that zeros are on the x-axis, right? So make sure your equation, everything in the same side, the other side must be, right side must be zero. And then you are going to do it. But now one thing here, look, this you should be careful. Here, x equal to zero and y value is, we call it not the zero, y intercept. Please be careful with this. We already know this. But now with example, let's try to find out zeros. So your example is here. 3x squared plus 31x equal to negative 36. Then I just explained it briefly. Do you remember what is the first step? Yes, we should move this negative 36 to the other side, the left side, right? So move a term to the other side so that all the terms on the same side and the other side is equal to zero. So if you move negative 36 to other side, what do you get? Yes, 3x squared plus 31x plus 36 equal to zero. And then what do you do? You factor this. You find the factors. So I recommend you the Kim's method, right? So because it's not, <clears throat> you, if you want to factor regularly, regular way, then you should use the AC method. If you can do it, please try. But mostly I recommend use Kim's method. So what do you do? Kim's method, you put the function in the calculator and they find out one zero, right? So if you look at the table, it says, y equal to zero, x is negative nine, right? If you find this one, now what do you do? Set each factor equal to zero. I mean, the, we should find the factor now. So 
negative nine is uh, zero. The what is the factor? <coughs> X plus nine. The what is the other factor? You know that X times what is three X square? Three X. And nine times four is 36. So your factor is three X plus four, right? This, this is your factors. Now our goal is we need to find out the solution, finding zeros, right? To find the zeros, the last step, you are not done here. So the last step is set each factor equal to zero. So <clears throat> X plus nine, right? Is equal to zero and three X plus four equal to zero. So you have two factors, two zeros. So now if you solve it from here, what do you get? X is negative nine and the other one give you, this one doesn't move. Can you, you cannot see it, right? So the, the other one give you X equal to negative four over three. If you solve from here, negative four over three. But as I told you, Kim's method give you the answer first. So you are not supposed to write down negative nine here, right? Just remember it, that this is the answer here. That's the kind of Kim's method. That's why I told you this is abnormal method, right? So negative nine, already you got it in the table, but don't write it down here. You find out X plus nine, the factor, and then you should find that the other factor and then solve the other zero here. Does everybody understand? Okay. Then <clears throat> I need you to go to the Google Classroom and the answer the question. You have two functions like this. So can you find the zeros of each function and then see what do you notice? Can you try by yourself? Uh, can you go to the Google Classroom after you try and then write down what you notice? Okay, let's try together. So k square minus 2k minus 15 equal to zero. If you put it into the calculator, what happened? You get the <clears throat> zero is negative three, right? And you will see the two zeros actually, but let's say you have only one zero here, then what is the factor? K plus three, right? From negative three, so K plus three. And then the other factor is K plus three times, what do you have? So K times what is K square? K, three times what is negative 15? Negative five, so K minus five, right? So that's other factor, but this one, when you factor it, if you have a negative uh, k square or x square, if coefficient is a negative, you better take it out, take a negative sign out as a factor. Then it'll you change all other terms, you change all the signs of all other terms, right? Then you will have oh this one. We forgot, so after factor, you should find out zero, right? So K is a negative three here, and then K is five. But this one again, you factor out negative, you factor out like this, and then do you see it? So every term change the sign, right? K square minus two K minus 15. What do you notice? Oh, this is exactly the same with this one, A, right? So it means we just multiply negative to the original function, k squared minus 2k minus 15, and then you have this. If you multiply negative, what happened to your graph? If you look at the calculator, you will see the graph is just upside down. It's like reflect over the x-axis. So you can try in your graph, but now point is if you factor it, you will get the same zeros, right? Same factor and same zeros. Negative doesn't matter here. So you get the same function here. And if you factor negative K plus three, K minus five. When you set each factor equal to zero, you get the same zeros. 
So both of them will give you same zero. So does everybody understand? So now <clears throat> this is the graph. If you try in your calculator, you will see the graph like they have the same zeros, right? Negative three and positive five. All right. So now if you keep go down, so you, you have a 12 question and then exit ticket is, a, you should rate yourself, okay? And then turn them all in, in your Google Classroom, okay? Let's stop here.